Hey guys, so as you can see this is not the normal intro that I uh, do, like the cheerful one that I try to do every time. I just want to clear some things up. As you can see the title of the video is Greece. Yes, I reacted to Greece. I record my reaction videos on the weekends, so this particular one I recorded on a Sunday. Yesterday I started editing this film. I had planned on posting it yesterday. I was halfway through the editing process. In particular, I was actually editing the part where Danny is running and trying to impress Sandy and then he falls over and she runs to him and they, you know, patch things up. I was editing that part and I looked over at social media for a split second and I saw the tragic news that our very own Sandy, the lead lady in this film, had passed away. I know that she had been battling cancer for the last 30 years. I just didn't know that she was this far gone, that she was on her deathbed. So I was taken aback, to be honest. It, it, it sort of freaked me out, I'm not gonna lie. I, it felt eerie, the, the, the timing of it, that I was editing this video that I was gonna post, and then the news break that Olivia Newton-John, the lead lady in Greece, had passed away. So I sort of had to take a step back and reevaluate the situation and I thought about it long and hard and I decided that I was not gonna post it uh, yesterday as I was going to. Instead, I decided, okay, I have already recorded the video, I have already done half of the editing, I don't want it to go to waste, I don't want to just throw it out. So instead of throwing it out, I decided, okay, I'm just gonna wait a day and I'm gonna post it, but I am gonna tribute this video to Olivia Newton-John. The woman was iconic. She was a legend. She was a living legend. And because of her, we have Greece. She was the one and only Sandy. So I decided I am going to tribute this video to her. And I hope that you guys will enjoy this video. Oh, all that hard work that went into building this sandcastle and he just walked straight through it. Such disrespect. Danny, is this the end? Is this the end? I feel like this scene was supposed to be very like 1930s, 40s. They were trying to recreate the magic of the oldies. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but that's just the way I felt about this scene. Of course not. It's only the beginning. This is the main brain, Vince Fontaine, beginning your day with the only way. Music, music, music. And as you guys know, when it comes to musicals, I will not be able to include all the songs in their entirety. As much as I would love to, I can't due to copyright claims. Just know that that is the reason why I cut short most of the songs. It's not me, it's YouTube. Stay at school! Thank you! Thank you! Hey, what's up? 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 Hey, I'm just asking. I was working, which is more than any of you skits can say. Hey, there's Danny! 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 Wow, what a beauty. I wonder if all these actors were actually high schoolers at the time. I don't think so. They don't strike me particularly as high schoolers. They they look more like they're pushing 30. I don't know. Someone enlighten me in the comments section. What'd you do all summer, Danny, huh? I was hanging around down the beach, you know. I, I, how was the action at the beach, man? Oof. 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 It was flipping. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Uh, I did meet this one chick. She was. Uh, she was sort of cool. Do I look okay, Frenchie? You look terrific. So this is Rondell. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You'll love it. I want that car. I'm not a particularly girly girl kind of type, but whenever I see a pink car, I'm like, I want it. There's something about pink cars. I think it's because they're so unique. You know, there's a pink car on the road, right? I'm not saying I would put eyelashes on the on the front lights or anything, but a pink car, you notice it. And me being the queen of my own existence, I should drive something that people notice. Well, here we are again. Yeah, but this time we're seniors. And we're gonna rule the school. <laughs> <laughs> okay, girls, let's go get them. Yeah, I remember the pink ladies simply because they're pink ladies. You gotta have some self-esteem to be able to uh, rock some pink matching jackets with your friends at school. Blanche, these are the schedules we couldn't find for last semester. Now maybe next year you'll find the ones for this semester. Blanche, get yourself together. I've got Kaniki again. He's been here longer than I have. The first 
first day of school, and already my castor oil is missing. Hmm. Jeez, every teacher I got this year flunked me at least once. Maybe because you're not attending classes? Everybody else went in. Well, what are you doing? If you don't watch it, you're going to be spending all your time in McGee's office. Yeah, well, this year she's going to wish she's never seen me. Oh, hello, ma'am. Aren't you supposed to be in homeroom right now? Yeah, I was just going for a walk. You were just dawdling, weren't you? Yes, ma'am. Then move. Yes, ma'am. I'm sure glad you didn't take any of her crap, Sonny. You would have really told her off, huh? <laughs> Mr. Lantier! Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Hey, Eugene. Hey, I did. Did. I did. Oh, yeah, I had completely forgotten about Eugene. Poor, poor Eugene. Incompetent, isn't she? Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to what we're sure will be our greatest year at Rydell. And now for the really good news, and probably one of the most exciting things. What did you do? The National Bandstand Television Show has selected Rydell as a representative American high school, and will do a live broadcast from our very own gym. This woman is counting down the days for her retirement. You can just tell on her face. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> what did you do? What, what? What was that? You guys got a look at Zuko this morning? Looking pretty good this year, huh, Riz? That's ancient history. Did she date John Travolta? Like, in the film? Like, did she date Danny? Why did I remember that? Strange. This here uh, is uh, Sandy Olsen. She just moved here from Sydney, Australia. Mm. How are things down under? Fine, thanks. How do you like school so far, Sandy? It's different. Different? As in, how are high schools in Australia? If I have any Australian uh, viewers, please let me know. Because so far, this film reminds me a hell of a lot of the boarding school that I went to. I went there by choice. I wasn't forced there. But yes, I attended a boarding school, and this film so far reminds me of that so i'm just wondering if uh, high schools in australia are vastly different oh i just love the first day of school don't you it's the biggest thrill <laughs> of my life hi i'm patty simcox uh, welcome to ride Dill. <laughs> <laughs> wow patty simcox is just the life of the party she is full of energy i hope you'll be a cheerleader tryouts we'll have so much fun and get to be lifelong friends oh my god no 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 Stranger said that to me, I'd stand up and walk away. How do you like Sandy, huh? Do you see the glitter in the pink ladies? She looks too pure to be pink. Hey, any of you guys see that new chicken registration? Oh, she sure beats the foam doms around here. I mean, her jugs were bigger than a net? Nobody's jugs are bigger than a net. <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, I want to hear about what Danny did at the beach. Yeah, that was nothing. Oh, sure, nothing, Zuko, come right? Come on, Danny. You got her drawers, right? Yeah. <laughs> come on, come on. Tell us about that girl. What'd you do this summer, Sandy? Oh, I spent most of it at the beach. I met a boy there. And yet you don't seem so tan. This reminds me, there's a beautiful sunny day outside. I am definitely gonna go tan. Oh yeah. You don't wanna hear all the horny details. Are you catching it? you? I'm wondering, was it like a status symbol for a bad boy in the 50s to wear like jeans and leather jacket? Because I've seen that so many times before in old films. And I know that this film is from 1976, I think, but I think the overall theme reminds me of the 50s. So that's what I'm going to go for. I know the songs. I know I keep stopping, guys, but, you know, it's a movie commentary, so stick it. I, I know the songs in this film. True love, he didn't lay a hand on you? Sounds like a creep to me. Well, he wasn't. He was a gentleman. What was his name? Danny Zuko. <laughs> Ooh. Well, maybe if you believe in miracles, Prince Charming will show up again someday, somewhere unexpected. You don't know if it's the same guy. It's a nation of 300-something million people. Surely there must be more Danny Sukos in the world. I just, I cannot believe that there's like one on the planet, on the entire planet, and he just happens to be in Rydell. For the sake of the story, it's him. But she doesn't know that at this point. Do you really think so, Frenchie? I think we ought to get to class. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, American high schools, you go all out, don't you? And here come the heroes of the hour. You have a banner year coming up, because my boys are prime. 
I prime them. I mean, they're not only prime, they're honed. Honed to a sharp razor edge. Ooh la la. We got some romance brewing. But wait, wasn't she supposed to end up with Danny? Am I misremembering this film? We're gonna yank him and tear him and rip him. We're gonna take him and roll him around and rip him up to pieces. And then we're gonna slaughter him. She really is something, isn't she? We're gonna come back here and ring that victory bell. Like we always wanted. Watch out, Fred. How did you pick this up? The junkyard? I remember that car being so cool. Why am I misremembering this film so much? What do you think? What a hunk of junk. <laughs> you wait till I give it a paint job and soup up the engine, man. She's gonna run like a champ. Hey, what are the scorpions doing here? This ain't their turf. Ooh. Yeah, see, I remember the other car being similar. Really, really cool. This car is not cool, though, but, but you guys know what I mean. Like, it wasn't that much of a hunk of junk. Think they want to rumble? Yeah, if they do, we're gonna be ready for them. Why do you have a water gun? Hi, Sandy. Well, hi, Riz. Hi, girls. We got a surprise for you. Surprise for this? You'll see. You know, if you fix up this car, it could be make out city. You know that? Right. The chick is going to have to put oh. out before she even gets in. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Now it's starting to make sense. Still not 100% sure where the jock comes in, but it will probably come to me. Hey, Zoko. So <laughs> I got a surprise for you. <laughs> Sandy! Teddy? What are you, what are you doing here? I, I, I thought you were going back to Australia. We had a change of plans. Dude, what the hell? Why are you so mad that he is getting to know a girl? Isn't that the whole point of being a teenage boy? Well, that's cool, baby. I mean, you know how it is. Rocking and rolling and whatnot. Danny? <laughs> yeah, Danny, what the hell? Why, why are you so possessed? What happened to the Danny Zuko I met at the beach? Maybe there's two of us, right? <laughs> Try the yellow pages, I don't know. People, here's a friendly advice. If the person you like acts differently towards you when you're alone, and then towards you when that person is surrounded by their peers, leave. Walk away and don't turn back. How they act when they're around their peers is how they truly are. Save yourself the heartache. You're a fake and a phony and yeah. I wish I'd never laid eyes on you! Whoa. Yeah, she's mad. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, she knew what she was doing. That was probably revenge. If they ever dated and split, and the split wasn't amicable, that was a revenge. She knew what she was doing. You were so nice to me this summer. Men are rats. They're fleas on rats. <laughs> there are amoebas on fleas on rats. Wow, you, you certainly give them credit, sweetie. The only man a girl can depend on is her daddy. If that. Well, I can, but many girls can't. Well, I'm gonna sleep over my house tonight. Wanna come? I love Frenchie. I love her because she's so nice to the new girl. It's scary being at a new place. It's a hell of a less scary thing if you have someone like her taking care of you. Hey, give me a second, but Yeah, me oh, too. Sure you. Hey, you want one, Sandy? I don't think so. I don't smell. You don't? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Try it. It won't kill you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you. You shouldn't inhale unless you're used to it. Hey, I brought some Twinkies. Anybody want one? Twinkies and wine? Oh, that's real class, Jan. I'm gonna offend some Americans right now. I've tasted Twinkies and they're not that good. So sorry if I'm offending someone. Sandy didn't get any wine. Oh, that's okay. Bet she never had a drink before either. Oh, yes, I did. I had some champagne at my cousin's wedding once. I'm wondering about the painting above the bed. Is that like color by number and someone just colored and then like, oh, I can't be bothered anymore and decided to frame it? When it was not even half done? Would you like me to pierce your ears for you? <laughs> Isn't that awfully dangerous? <gasps> oh, no, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to be a beautician, you know. Why don't we go into the bathroom? My mother will kill me if I get blood all over the carpet. What? Oh, it only bleeds for a second. Frenchie, she said no. She does not want her ears pierced. Hey, what's that? From Bobby and Korea. Yeah, you're turning into a one-woman USO. You ain't getting your hands on my ears. No, no, I would definitely advise you to stay away from Frenchie. Change your mind, let's get out of here. Hey, what do you mean? <gasps> they can't come in here, my folks will flip. You goody goodies are too much for me. I'm gonna get my kicks while I'm still young enough to get it. What do you mean, young enough? You're still in high school. You got your whole 20s and 30s, possibly 40s. What's up, Kinnick? You got a lot to offer a girl. Yeah, you know it. 
Yeah. What's that, Zook? You looking good, Riz. Eat your heart out. Sloppy seconds ain't my style. What do you mean sloppy seconds? Didn't you guys date? I'm confused. I'm easily confused. She's really going through the whole friend group if she's gonna go for Kaniki as well. I don't know what I ever saw in Danny Zuko. Don't sweat it, honey. Half one of mine. So, she, she, she's dating like a whole fleet of men. So what you guys think this is, a gangbang? You wish. <laughs> hey, hit the pavement. Remember us and your will. Yeah. Your will, all right. When a guy picks a chick over his buddy, something gotta be wrong. No, not really. I mean, he's a horny teenage guy. For deep penetration into infected pores. So we've entered Makeout City then. Cool. Oh. Hey, you got something? Are you kidding? My 25 cent insurance policy. Thanks, Benda. <laughs> it broke. Oh. How could it break? I bought it when I was in the seventh grade. Yeah, maybe think about upgrading. Maybe once a year, just just to be on the safe side. What the hell? Oh, boom. Um, okay, yeah, sure. That's a risk, but okay. Mm. <laughs> You parked in a no parking zone, creep. The whole place a no parking zone, crater face. You gonna pay for that? The car is junk. If anything, he's helping the car. Oh! What the hell? If I was driving down the motorway and I saw a car do this in front of me, I would stop my car and think that one is gonna blow up. And I don't wanna be anywhere near that car when that happens. The problem's in this rubber band engine. The problem's in your mouth. Come on, guys. No. This car could be a major piece of machinery. Do you know that? Is this how the car becomes grease lightning? Because I distinctly remember the car being like really cool. My memory of the car is it being white, but still with like lightnings and thunders on it. It, it was definitely not red. Am I tripping? Has it been that long? Although that car is wicked cool. I would drive this around all day, every day. Come on guys, let's get to work. Yeah! <laughs> Frosty Palace. Okay. Okay, the meeting is at session. <laughs> oh, she's on a date with a jock. Well, I mean, if the guy you're in love with treats you like garbage, then move on. Find someone who doesn't treat you like a garbage. Last year the fuzz at Thunder Road staked out, and everybody got hold of the clinic. So oh, nobody's gonna catch Grease Lightning? Yeah. Are you jealous? Are you a little jelly? Shouldn't have treated her like garbage. Somebody snaking you, Danny? Oh, bite the weenie, Riz. With relish. I don't know about these chicks. Yeah, they're only good for one thing. And then what are you supposed to do with them for the other 23 hours and 45 minutes of the day? <laughs> Love. 15 minutes? Boy, do I feel sorry for the woman who ends up with you. Want some new music? Smooth. Hi, Sandy. Oh, hi. How are you? Fine, thanks. That's good. That night at the bonfire, I mean, the way I acted, that was terrible. I mean, it really was. I mean, I mean, it wasn't me. You gotta know that. I mean, well, yeah, technically it was. You get the well, that's why I'm so glad that Tom's such a simple person. Simple is right. Too bad his brains are in his biceps. And what have you ever done? Oh, come on. I can run circles around those jerks. With the two packs of cigarettes a day that you're smoking? No. I'll believe that when I see it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he is not serious. Is he thinking about joining the gym team? Let's start with the first rule. Cutting on two packs a day, eh? Want to introduce no man? Let's give him a try out, huh? If these shorts were any shorter, things would be hanging out. Now, just dribble a ball, put it in a basket. Think you can do that? Let's go. Come on, Let's go. Oh, God. Come on. Let's go. That's it. Fight. That's it. What? Oh. Oh. Mm. What did I do? <laughs> give? Yeah, give. Oh. Oh. I think you're gonna like baseball. He's gonna use that bat to kill someone, isn't he? Thunderball, come on, let's play. Wow. Foul ball. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Put the bat down. Put the bat down. There's a lot of other sports that don't have any contact at all. Danny. Danny, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. So you're still going out with that jock strap? Well, that all depends. On what? On you. On me? Clearly. I don't see why. I don't see how. But clearly. He can stagger. <laughs> <laughs> so 
always forgiven that. What are you doing? I just want a little privacy for us, all right? Yeah, that's not weird at all. Am I being overly harsh? No. Give me a double a polar burger with everything and a cherry soda with chocolate ice cream, okay? Ooh, that sounds good. All the same. How you doing? Uh, okay. Nice. Golden cones. Hi, Mr. Mariah. Peachy cane, Jelly Bean. Hey, you get 23 cents. Anybody want to chip in for a dog sled delight? I don't know where all my money goes. Probably there. Hey, Viola, a dog sled delight with four spoons. And an Eskimo pie with Hi, a knife. Hi, Jane. I got so many hickeys, people would think I'm a leper. A hickey from Kanicki is like a Hallmark car. Um, you pig. You sure are a cheap date. Well, I didn't mean it the way it came out. I understand. I always thought you were a very understanding person. I am. Oh, they're so cute. And I also think that there's more to you than just fat. Nice. They're so cute. Come on, let's get out of here, Sam. Let's go. See you later. Okay. But they just got their food. If I was hungry, I'd be like, hell no, I'm sticking here. I'm gonna eat. My friendship. See you, Sandy. Did they not have to pay for their food? Great. I get stuck with the check again. Give me money. Okay, what is it, huh? What's with you tonight? Don't start with me. How about I finish with you, huh? Finish this! To you from me, Pinky Lee. Sorry, French. They have a deeply, deeply troubled relationship. You know, it's near closing time, don't you? Do you mind if I stay around a little longer, Vi? No, suit yourself. Mm. Wow. Whoa. What? Your hair looks like an Easter egg. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I had a little trouble in tinting class. I'll say. But in a weird way, this does suit you. It's actually quite cool. She was just way ahead of her time. Beauty school sure wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Nothing ever is. I dropped out. If only I could have a guardian angel to tell me what to do. Hey, fruitcake, you got it on backwards. Right. What kind of card you swipe this from, anyway? Your the mother's. Riz. You still gonna go to the dance? I'm gonna have the hottest date there. Okay. This thing that ever happened to Ride Del High, and we don't have dates. Relax. I think our luck is changing. What, the enemy? He doesn't even go to this school, I, I assume. What? Do you know what you're doing? No. What we're doing. Come on. What? Don't drag her into this. You traitors. Hey, Marty. You're looking good. Sonny, there he is. Look, that's Vince Fontaine. Yeah, I've seen better heads on a mug of beer. You grow up, he's the living end. Daddy, this is so exciting. How do I look? It's like a beautiful blonde pineapple. We are going on the air very shortly. Oh, but first, let's have some warm up numbers with Johnny Casino and the Gamblers. That's amazing. Also, what is just fabulous. And by that, I am sincerely kidding, guys. There is not one fat person in this school. What's that all about? Now, I know I'm not Cinderella skinny here. Does that mean I wouldn't be able to tend right, El High? Because there is not a single fat person in sight. I'm gonna be triggered. No, not really. I don't like people who are easily triggered. But I'm just curious. Were people not fat in the 50s? Oh. Wow, do they look desperate. I hope I don't get camouflaged. Don't worry about it. We're gonna be cool, right? Yeah. On the radio. How the hell did they end up together? Why are those two couples being so messed up? No, I want you to be chat that Gregorio. Ooh. How you doing, Zuko, baby? Fine. That was an odd behavior. Are you telling me that he went with Rizzo and also this Cha Cha person? But if so, why would his best friend be like, hey, look who I brought? What a shitty friend. Who's that girl? Uh, she's just a girl, a girl I know, that's all. Right. I'm Vince Fontaine. Hey, do your folks know I come into your room every night? Ew! Walk away from her, please. What's your name? Marty. Sunny! What are you doing? Washing my hands. How do you know her? She's just an old friend of the family's, that's all. Well, I do have more fun. True. In a few moments, the entire nation will be watching Rydell High, God help us. And I want you all to be on your best behavior. Oh, God. Yeah, somehow I get the feeling that is gonna go wrong. Mr. 
He is just being treated like a rock star. I wonder if he was actually a TV personality. Game rule one. All couples must be boy-girl. Yeah, too bad, Eugene. <laughs> Why? That is so discriminatory. So, I'm guessing there were no gay couples at the school as well. Game rule two. During the dance contest, if you tapped on the shoulder, you must leave the floor immediately Somebody or else. And to look your best for the big contest, just be yourselves and have a ball. That's what it's all about, after all. <laughs> Is this Danny and Sandy? Now to the event you've all been waiting for, the National Dance Off! Yeah! Some lucky guy or gal is gonna go bopping home with some fantabulous prizes. Hey, does everybody here know Marty? Yeah. Oh. Hey, break it up, break it up, what is that? Okay, Patty, you are full of energy. They gotta win. When he had the self-confidence to dress in pink, they gotta win. <laughs> what are you doing, you snake? You should be gone. You don't even attend this high school. <laughs> Sonny, what are you doing? <laughs> are you serious, Danny? Okay, you know what? He is not worthy of her. This is the second time that he has disrespected her greatly. First he treats her like garbage, and now he doesn't even care if some other guy just stole her from him, took her off the dance floor, and he's just like, oh, you know, winning the dance contest is more important than the girl. I'm just gonna continue with a new one. He's an asshole. <laughs> yeah, I would leave too. I'd be so mad. Here we are, the new chance! That is on the right. Are you telling me that the waitresses at Frosty Palace are waitressing in this fluffy outfit? This looks like pajamas. Oh my god, this looks so cute. Honestly, I would wear this at wintertime. Yeah, definitely. If you turn yourselves in now, you may escape a federal charge. Come on, Pony, watch your hands. Hey. Watch your move out. Like a in here. Hey, I'm not, I'm not hey, there's nobody here. She is so disrespectful to poor Sonny. Oh, come on, Sandy. I told you on the phone that I was sorry. How many times are you going to tell you sorry? Sorry doesn't cut it if you keep doing it over and over again. Well, you do believe me, don't you? Well, yes, but I still think that you and Chacha went together. Would you want Marie? I don't know what to say. Say yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, what, you, you give her jewelry and then all is forgiven? Oh, Danny, this, this means so much to me, because I know now that you respect me. He does not. Girl, you need to have more respect for yourself. He can't just give you stuff and then you're like, oh, you respect me now? He does not. What is with you tonight? I feel like a defective typewriter. Huh? I skipped a period. Do you think you're PG? I don't know, big no. deal. It's probably gonna get you did it without a condom. That's always a risk. Marty, you ain't gonna tell nobody about this, right? Oh, sure, Riz. Look, I'll take it to the grave, okay? It's coming through, coming through. Come on, lady with the baby. Take it to the grave, sweetie? What's up? This is Marty? I hear you're knocked up. You do, huh? Yeah. Boy, good news really travels fast. Why don't you tell me about it? I don't want to wait for my mistakes. Hey, don't worry about it, Kaniki. It was somebody else's mistake. I don't see how. Unless she did it with the scorpion guy. That's a possibility. What are you she doing, dude? Sandy! Oh, Sandy. Danny, what are you doing? Get off me! I, I thought I meant something to you. Get off you. You can take this piece of tin. Sandy, you just can't walk out of a drive-in. Well, you really messed around that situation, didn't you? Come on, guys. All right. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you see, there's the car that I had in mind. I was like, I'm sure it was white with lightnings. I'm not going crazy. The Alzheimer's hasn't kicked in. Phew. This baby's oh. gonna knock them on their ears at Thunder Road. <laughs> You're right. And these lightning strikes. Hey, Miss Murdoch, you coming? I don't expect my boys to let me down, and I won't let them down. Oh, right, right, right. Go, Murdoch. <laughs> We've been friends a long time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you remember the, the, the drive-in the other night? We went and, and the movie, and it was like the duel, and the guy's best friend went with him, and, and, and like it was, it was like his lieutenant, like his second, you know? Yeah. So? 
Don't make him say it. You know what he's asking you. Father, you could maybe be my second on the road. Oh, he's asking you to be his friend, to be his best friend, to be his second. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's such a beautiful friendship. Uh, oh, yeah, that? yeah. Keep it cool, guys. Keep it cool. That's a beautiful moment, though. Very guyish moment. Are you going to Thunder Road? Not a chance. Listen, Rizzo, I know that we haven't been the best of friends, but if there's anything I can do... Thanks. <sighs> That's the one I was telling you about. <sighs> wow, Jesus, Patty. Can you be a little more subtle? I remember this scene. I don't exactly remember how it went, but I remember the race. I remember the scenery. So you guys think you got a winner there, huh? They do. Pretty sure they do. You guys ain't thinking about changing your mind, are you? No way. Good, because we're racing for pinks. Pinks? Pink slips, ownership papers. <laughs> Here, Kaniki, I brought you a little something for good luck. Thank you, sir. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. Don't worry about it. I'm don't sorry. Worry, I'll get it. <laughs> you okay? We're fine. Oh, oh, oh you can't drive. Hey, hey, you want me to drive for you? Yeah. That's what being the second is. You're his best friend. Let's do a second bridge and back, and the one who makes it here first wins. Call ass, kid. Oh, come on, they just fixed the car. Oh! I had forgotten about that, Jesus Christ. If he wins on the count of all these tricks, I'm gonna be furious. Yeah, it doesn't always pay to be an asshole, does it? Well, I mean, Danny is an asshole as well, but in this case, he's the lesser asshole. <laughs> Is this where she transforms? I know that. I've actually seen that. Isn't that great? Yeah. Aren't you happy? No, not really, Frenchie, but I think I know a way I could be. Could you help me? Of course. Can I come over to your place? Sure. Come on. Oh, oh my god, I love her. Your years with us here at Rydell High have prepared you for the challenges you face. Always you will have the glorious memories of Rydell High. Rydell forever. Oh, Blanche, stop blubbering. Wow. They are certainly not as upset as the two women. Question, America, when you come at the end of the year, like a high school year, do you get a carnival? Like a festival? I don't believe it! Hattery's on phys ed! Did I take phys ed? So I'm guessing you're not graduating then. Coach Calhoun, how could you afford the T-Birds? Don't worry, you'll get your diplomas. All you have to do is come back to summer school. Summer school? <laughs> Look out! <laughs> I see, if you'd have come to class, you wouldn't have missed me. What's your name? I want you. It's Eugene. You're a great pitcher. Oh, thank you. Get over that thing! You gotta get this shit! I'm not crazy! Oh, great. They have a dysfunctional but very sweet relationship. What the hell happened to him? Hey, hey, what is this, Halloween? I let it in chat. How do you like that? I can't believe it. Danny Zuko turned jock? Oh, come on, guys. You know you mean a lot to me. It's just that Sandy does too, and I, I'm gonna do anything I can to get her. That's Well, okay. He's sort of learning from his mistakes. Okay, I'll give him credit for that. Yes. That is an iconic scene. You cannot forget that. Once you've seen that scene once, you cannot forget it. Sandy! Tell me about it. Stir. Can you imagine how long it took her to squeeze into those leather pants? Rizzo and Kinnicky 